Imagine. You go through your whole life never quite knowing what to do, never quite knowing what path to take, always thinking that you want to be something, that you want to be something good, but never quite knowing the steps to take. That was me. I kind of glided through life. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know what I wanted to be. I know I, I spent a lot of my life wanting to be a good man, but unable to figure out what I needed to do to do that. And really, life kind of happened to me. I wasn't in control. I, I wasn't the person who was steering the rudder of my ship. Get to the point I'm 46 years old, and I'm thinking to myself one day, is this it? Like, I'm overweight. I'm not happy with where my life's at. Is this it? Like, is this all it's gonna be? I'm sitting there and I'm in a chair and you know, I'm eating horribly. I'm overweight. I'm so unhealthy. And I remember sitting there and thinking, I'm dying. Like, this is it. Like. I can't go on like this. This is just a slow death, death by degrees. And this, is this what I want the rest of my life to be like? Is this what I saw inside myself? You know, I was never sure what to do or how to start, so I just never started. And I don't know, something happened. Something inside me just kind of woke up, and this little voice inside me and I just cried. And it said, get up. Just get up. Just do something. Get up. And you know what? I didn't have much left in me, but I got up. I got up and I fought. Not hard at first. I gave it what I had. I just went, I got myself a gym pass. I started going to the gym, I didn't know what I was doing. I just started researching whenever I had time, doing a little bit here, a little bit there, I'd get a little bit better, I'd get a little bit stronger, I'd get a little bit more knowledge, and I just kept fighting a little bit more, harder and harder. And you know what, the weirdest thing happened, everything just started kind of falling into place. I realized, what I was doing before is I just, I wanted this big picture. I wanted to be a good man. I wanted to have a good life. And I just wanted it to come. I had this big picture of what I wanted, but I wasn't able to get there. It was just something that was there and I couldn't get to there. I know now that the reason is because you don't work on the big picture. You work on the little brush strokes. Every little brush stroke builds that big picture. So what you do is you work on yourself, one little brush stroke at a time. And in all reality, it starts with fitness. You get your fitness under control and you get discipline. You get pride. You get to realize that you can do this. Once you start working on it and you get stronger, you get better, you get just, you just get better at it. You get the confidence. And when you get that confidence, you start realizing, you know, I can do this. And when you start realizing inside yourself that you can do it, that this is in you, the strength is there, you can do anything. But you can't do it all at once. You work on one, two things at a time. You pick something that you don't like about yourself and you work on it. This is really the secret. You can't get that big picture without these little brush strokes. So you work on one thing at a time. You fix that thing, you work on it till it's done. Then you move on to the next thing, you work on that till it's done. This is what I'm doing now, I'm 46 years old, I'm almost 47. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm getting better all the time. I am in the best mental health of my life and that's getting better all the time. And I see my life over the next 20, 30 years being the best years of my life. And really, I wanna share that with you. I want to help all of you to get to the same point and do even better than me, hopefully. Okay? So what you got to ask yourself, 
And I want you to have to realize your story is a story. Imagine your story as a movie or a book you're reading. What is your character in this story? Are you the hero? I was never the hero in my story. Are you the villain? Maybe you're destroying your own life. That makes you the villain of your story. Are you even worse and sadder? Are you a background character in your own story? Myself, I've been the villain of my story during times of it. And for quite a lot of it, I was a background character. I was not in charge of where my story was going. But now I realize I'm in charge. I control where my story goes. I get to write it from here on out. This is my story. I'm going to be the hero of my own story. And I want all of you just get up. Fight. Fight for it. You be the hero of your own story. Fight. I love you guys.